guys i'm back happy friday so before we begin the video i want to let you guys know that i will not be having school today and monday due to the coronavirus issues so um i just want to let you guys know that so that way you don't get infected by this coronavirus please make sure you do stay home if you feel as if you are going to be very sick um please make sure you do wash your hands for 20 seconds and if you do cough or sneeze make sure you do it either in your elbow or you can even do it inside of your shirt as well that's what i do but anyway um but yeah we won't be having school today and monday due to coronavirus so i want to go and make this video since my friend pretty boy kenny's actually doing a live stream on 2k right now Hopefully I don't miss his live stream and hopefully he won't be able to end it when I finish this. Then again, he might, but I might have some time to watch it after I do this. Um, but I'll also be eating some cheese balls as well. So I'm going to give you guys some information on the kids choice awards. That's going to be live on Sunday, March 22nd at approximately, I think seven 30 or right around eight o'clock in the evening and then it should be ending at around like 10 p.m or 11 p.m so yeah you'll have a chance to go live and see who actually got voted for the kids choice awards which will be hosted by chance the rapper so i will say that's actually going to be very exciting so we're all excited about that But, um, for our first vote, we're going to be voting for favorite kids TV show, which we're either going to be voting for a series of unfortunate events, all that, Bunked, Henry Danger, Power Rangers, Beast Morphers, and Raven's Home. So I'm just going to go ahead and vote for Henry Danger because I already know that they already got an award last year and the year before that, which was from like way back in 2019 and 18. And I'm going to guess they're probably going to get another award this year. But I like uh, Raven's Home also because I think it's a cool TV show since season three came out. And that they also had like very good episodes on there. Now, for family TV shows, we have Fuller House, Modern Family, Stranger Things, The Big Bang Theory, The Flash, and Young Sheldon. So, uh, I actually like Fuller House, and they got an award last year and the year before that, which was 2019-18 as well. So, I'm going to guess they're also going to be getting another award this year, so I'm going to vote for them. Now, for a reality TV show... Which, by the way, we have America's Got Talent, American Ninja Warrior, America's Funniest Home Videos, Master Chef Junior, The Masked Singer, and The Voice. I'm going to go with The Masked Singer because there was a lot of awesome celebrities who actually sang many popular songs. Like, for example, they had Wayne Brady, Drew Carey, Sherry Shepard, Antonio Brown. I believe they also had an Indiana Pacer basketball player who also sang... So I will say it was very, very awesome. So I'm going with that. Then for TV show hosts, we have Ellen DeGeneres, John Cena, Nick Cannon, Ryan Seacrest, Terry Crews, and Tiffany Haddish, who are from Ellen's Game of Games, Are You Smart, The Fifth Grader, The Masked Singer, American Idol, America's Got Talent, and Kids Say the Darndest Things. So personally, I had to go with Nick Cannon because he was a very cool host for The Masked Singer. So I went ahead and I wanted to go ahead and go with him. Now there's going to be like ads that I'm going to have to skip. But um, there's a slime fest right before the Kids' Choice Awards. So that'll be very cool. Then for animated series, we have Alvin and the Chipmunks, SpongeBob SquarePants, Teen Titans Go, The Amazing World of Gumball, The Loud House, and The Simpsons. So I went ahead and I would go with Teen Titans Go because I've been watching this TV show like 
a ton. And I believe season six of this series came out. I watched some of its episodes and it was very good. Then we have female actress from a TV show. So we have Candace Cameron Bohr, Ella Anderson, Millie Bobby Brown, Peyton List, Raven Simone, and Ryle Downs. So I wanted to go with, uh, I think Raven Simone, because I think she was very cool. Very cool mom for the kids of Levi, um, Booker, Nia, and uh, Tess. So she's a very good parent for those kids. And then we have male TV stars, which we have Abraham Rodriguez, Caleb McLaughlin, Jace Norman, Jim Parsons, Joshua Basett, and Kron Brar. So I went ahead and I wanted to go with Jace Norman because he's actually a very, very good um, TV star on Henry Danger. And I think he's going to get like another award this year. Then for movies, we have Aladdin, Avengers Endgame, Captain Marvel, Jumanji in the Next Level, Spider-Man Far From Home, and Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. So I wanted to go with Aladdin. Bet. Aladdin, because I thought that was like my number one favorite Disney live action movies. So I wanted to go ahead and go with that. Um... But also for the Slime Fest, we have French Montana, Jojo Siwa, Why Don't We, and Blanco Brown, or Blanco Brown, who will be possibly performing a lot of songs. And then for movie actresses, we have Angelina Jolie, Brie Larson, Dove Cameron, Scarlett Johansson, Taylor Swift, and Zendaya. So they're from like different movies from Maleficent, Mistress of Evil, Captain Marvel, Avengers Endgame, Descendants 3, Cats, and Spider-Man Far From Home. So I think I was probably going to go ahead and go with Angelina Jolie because I think probably she did play Maleficent in the regular movie and then she came back to play Maleficent again. So I think I would have went with her. Then we have Chris Evans, Chris Hemsworth, Dwayne Johnson, Kevin Hart, Tom Holland, and Will Smith, who are movie actors. So I went ahead and I wanted to go with Will Smith because he was actually a very cool dude in playing Genie from Aladdin. He's a very good movie actor. And then for favorite superheroes, we have Captain Marvel, Captain America, Thor, Iron Man, Black Widow, and Spider-Man. So I wanted to go with Spider-Man because I think he's probably one of my top number one favorite superheroes. Then for animated movies, we have Frozen 2, The Angry Birds Movie 2, The Lego Movie 2, The Second Part, The Lion King, The Secret Life of Pets 2, and Toy Story 4. So I went ahead and I wanted to go with Lion King because Donald Glover, who is also known as Childish Gambino, Beyonce, J.D. McCrary, they were very good actors in this movie, so I think they were very good singers who were also playing as actors and actresses, so that's actually very good. All right, continue voting. Female voices, we have Beyonce, Adina Menzel, Kristen Bell, and Tiffany Haddish. So I think Adina Menzel actually played very well with Elsa and I don't know why I'm voting for her, which I actually don't want to vote for her. I'm actually going with Beyonce because she played a very good role in playing Nala. And then we have Chris Pratt, Josh Gad, Kevin Hart, and Tom Hanks. So I want to go with Kevin Hart because I think he was playing a very good role into playing Snowball since he played him in the first movie of The Secret Life of Pets. And then he played another good role in this second movie, so I went with him. Then for female social stars, which would probably be from Snapchat or Instagram, we have Annie LeBlanc, Emma Chamberlain, Lily Singh, Liz Akashi, Miranda Sings, and Meryl Twins. So I want to go ahead and go with Liz Akashi.
Then for male social stars, we have Coyote Peterson, David Dobrik, Dolan Twins, Dude Perfect, Mr. Beast, and Ryan's World. So uh, I think Dude Perfect actually, they're like a group who do like awesome like trick shots. So I think I would have went with them because they're very co cool guys. Then for gamers, we have DNTDM, Gamer Girl, Ninja, Preston, and SS Sniper Wolf. So I'm probably going to go with DNTDM because he's actually one of my top number one favorite gamers, even though he does like to play um, Fortnite, Roblox, Minecraft, etc. Then for female artists, we have Ariana Grande, Beyonce, Billie Eilish, Katy Perry, Selena Gomez, and Taylor Swift. So, um, I actually think Ariana Grande should get another reward for this year, because I think she was, um, very good into singing a song last year, which I can't remember what it was, but she got an award for favorite female artist, and not only that, favorite song from a female artist. And then we have male artists. Ed Sheeran, Justin Bieber, Lil Nas X, Marshmello, Post Malone, and Shawn Mendes. So I went ahead and I wanted to go with Lil Nas X because he was a very cool rapper. Then for music groups, we have BTS, Fall Out Boy, Jonas Brothers, Maroon 5, Panic at the Disco, and the Chainsmokers. So personally, I actually really liked Jonas Brothers' Sucker. But with memories from Maroon 5, I think they did better. But, you know, both songs are good, but I think I'm going to be going with Maroon 5. Then for favorite song, we have Seven Rings from Ariana Grande, Bad Guy, Memories, Old Town Road, Sucker, and You Need to Calm Down. Um, this was actually a very hard decision to make, but I needed to go with Bad Guy, because I think a lot of people actually really like this song. Then for music collaborations, we have 10,000 Hours, I Don't Care, Me, Old Town Road Remix, Senorita, and Sunflower. So I needed to go ahead, and I went with Old Town Road, because a lot of people actually enjoyed Lil Nas X and Billy Ray Cyrus in the Old Town Road Remix. Then we had some new artists that actually came out this year and last year as well. So we have City Girls, Da Baby, Louis Cabaldi, Lil Nas X, Lizzo, and Megan Thee Stallion. So I think Lizzo's Truth Hurts, The Juice, and I forgot one of her other songs. I think she actually played very good in playing those songs, but I think Da Baby actually was a very, very good rapper for a new rapper, actually, for a new artist. So I thought that was good, so I went with her. Then for global music stars, we have BTS, Dua Lipa, J Balvin, Rosalia, Show, Med Josie, Taylor Swift, and Tones and I. So I wanted to go with Taylor Swift, because um, I normally listen to her Lover album. It's number one, so I wanted to go with her. Then for social music stars, we have... Asher Angel, Blanco Brown, Johnny Orlando, Jojo Siwa, Kenzie, and Max and Harvey. So actually, I think Blanco Brown is probably another type of rapper. But if I would have voted for Jojo Siwa, she probably would have won another award since she did it last year. And I believe the year before that, too, which was, I think, 2019 and 18. But it probably would have been only 2019. Um, but I think I'm going to go with Blanco Brown. Then for female sports stars, we have Alex Morgan, Linda, Lindsay Vaughn, Megan Rapino, Naomi Osaka, Serena Williams, and Simone Biles. So I think Simone Biles is actually one of my top favorite gymnasts. So I went ahead and I wanted to vote for her. Then for male sports stars, we have 
Cristiano Ronaldo, LeBron James, Patrick Mahomes, Sean White, Stephen Curry, and Tom Brady. Which, oh my god, this is kind of a hard decision to make. Because last time I went with Patrick Mahomes, because he won Super Bowl 54, and he's probably my favorite number one MVP quarterback for the Chiefs. So, I'm thinking I'm going to go with him, because I think he's, like, a top football player. And then for our last one, favorite video games, we have Fortnite, Mario Kart Tour, Minecraft, and Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. So I went ahead and I went to go with Fortnite. But then again, I would have voted for Minecraft, because probably a lot of people who actually love playing Minecraft. So, here are my badges for who I voted for. So I voted for Henry Danger, Fuller House, Masked Singer, Nick Cannon, Teen Titans Go, Raven Simone, Jace Norman, Aladdin, Angelina Jolie, Will Smith, Tom Holland, The Lion King, Beyonce, Nala, Kevin Hart Snowball, Liz Akashi, Dude Perfect, Dan TDM, Ariana Grande, Will Nas X, Rune 5, Bad Guy, Old Town Road, DaBaby, Taylor Swift, Blanco Brown, Simone Biles, Patrick Mahomes, and Fortnite. So those are all my votes that I just cast. So hopefully you guys will be able to cast your vote during the Kids' Choice Awards, and hopefully you'll be able to watch it on Sunday, March 22nd, at approximately 7.30 or 8 o'clock in the evening, and then it will run until possibly 10 or 11 p.m. So if you want to have a chance to vote for whoever you want to go ahead and vote for, go to kidschoiceawards.com and cast your vote to see who gets a blimp for the Kids' Choice Awards. So, um, yeah. So right now I'm going to go ahead and watch Pretty Boy Kenny's live stream on 2K. I don't know if he finished yet, but hopefully he's still streaming. Um, if you want to have a chance and watch Kenny's live stream, search his channel, Pretty Boy Kenny, and you can go ahead and watch his live stream. He wants to hit approximately 630 subscribers, and then I think he's probably going to be very close to 700. So hopefully he'll reach that potential. So um, hopefully he does. And I'm hoping so. So if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and click on the notification bell to never miss a video. And I'll see you guys later. Bye!